years. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Hi everyone, Basil Chapman sitting for the vacationing. Tom O'Brien, my pleasure to be here. We've got the Dow up nine at 32,953 on this Monday, the 14th of March at what is it, 3.07 Eastern Time. What we're looking at is the pattern that I love. Let me just do this real quickly. Some of you are new to my work. I try to identify the lowest low bar. I um, essentially grade each higher peak. I alphabetize them sequentially, peak A, the next one higher is B, the next is C, D. You can go to E, F, and G, but it's at that fourth highest peak, peak D, that other things can happen. And within that context, uh, three patterns I'm looking for, straight line up, straight line down, cup formation, arch formation, or a mix of one and three. In this case, it's red because if it takes out the left side low, that lowercase h, can go much lower and the reverse Y if it takes out the left side high it can go much higher keep it as simple as possible here we go you've got a peak D that fourth highest peak on the 5th of January at 36,952 in the Dow daily chart and what happens it makes a little H pattern breaks down falls all the way to 33,150 has a big spike to the up side to 35,824 has a big failure because it goes to peak C minus it fails by going below that 33,150 level on the 24th of February at 32,272 then it has a smaller H and here it's in the process of going from a possible lowercase H to maybe even an M shaped pattern daily so the daily is in a cell mode the weekly is in a cell mode the monthly is still in this. Look, there's the starting point at 18,213 on the, on the uh, March of 2020. Runs all the way to that high in January in peak E, and now it's pulling back, but it really hasn't even given a sell signal yet. Looking at the S&P, I'll run these much quicker now. The S&P, the S&P, if I can just do it correctly, there we go. S&P ran all the way to 4818. On the 4th of January, comes down, makes a lowercase h, then another one, then goes down to 44, 41.14.65 on the 24th of Feb. And wow, it's right here at 41.71, 60 points away. You can do that in the blink of an eye. So this is really an important moment. Sell mode in the daily, sell mode in the weekly, not even a sell signal yet in the monthly. Now we'll do the QQQ just to tell you where we are. The QQQs um, have, in fact, whoa, today is 317.61. It's taken out the left side low. There's the second, this is uh, the third dreaded H pattern, that lowercase h. Very serious sell mode in the daily, sell mode in the weekly, and so close to a sell signal in the monthly. And we're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, that is the small caps. Small caps are making that pattern that I was talking about a moment ago, where you, you test the left side low, but then you bounce. And within that bounce, you're in a really a rectangle trading range, and you are uh, at 192.41 down 432, making the lowercase h to lowercase m in the daily, an arch formation in the uh, weekly chart, and really close to a sell signal in the in the monthly chart. Let's go to gold. Look at this. Gold had a spectacular soar soaring to the to the to the. 2000, I think it's not 72, it was 78. Let me just double check here. I should have typed that in. I don't usually type it in because this is a continuous contract. Yeah, 2078.8. Uh, and here we are at 1954, made a peak E top in the daily, a buy mode, 
maybe close to a sell signal, but just in the daily. Weekly chart is still in the buy mode. Monthly chart made this almost this double top pattern going to the high that close to the high that was made back in um, August of 2020. You've got uh, silver also with the same kind of pattern pulling back sharply here, down 96 cents at 25.20. Not as strong as gold, but this is these two things are the issue. Crude oil pulling back almost eight dollars to 101.56. Spectacular move going to 130.50 in the continuous contract. It seems to me it wants to go towards the 96, 92 area, and that's going to be key. What happens after that? And we've got this is really the story of the day with Wednesday coming up as the Fed speak day. You've got bonds, the TLT, iShares, 20-year Treasury bond ETF down three points at 131.92. Oh, this is not good. The, that means that rates are going much, much higher, have gone a lot higher. TNX.X, here we are. The TNX is breaking out. I've got it as a leg C in the daily, a buy mode in the daily, a buy mode in the weekly, and a buy mode in the monthly. I don't know what's going to stop the rates from going much higher. Yes, they can stall, but this is actually quite a big breakout phase. And uh, the one thing I was talking about just a moment ago was the VIX index. The VIX index is at 32.38. Staying above 29 means that there's a lot of selling pressure going on amongst the bigger money, like fund managers, hedge funds, etc. Most importantly, to have a successful rally, to be able to go triple digit up and hold all the way into the into the close, hold in for two days, three days. You really have to see that volatility index pull back well under 27, and it hasn't done that yet. So within that context, what we're looking at, that's just kind of an overview of what we're looking at. Uh, there's a lot more to go into, and I believe after the break, we're going to have Steve Rhodes. That will be a wonderful uh, – the host will have a guest host there. That will be very nice. Um, look at the IYT, which is the Transportation Index. The iShares, Dow Jones, Transportation Average Index Fund. Makes this double top in the 287 in the 280s back from May of 2021. Plummets down to 240, screams up to 281, pulls back, goes back and retests in the 280 area. Look at that, a triple top, and now we're pulling back. It's in a rectangle formation, but that monthly chart says, uh oh, transportation average needs to hold the the two. I'd put it in the 232 level on a closing basis because below that. Uh, that monthly chart starts to deteriorate, and that's really important. And if you're looking at the euro, EUR, USD, look at the euro. Um, breaks down, it makes this incredible pattern right here. Look at this in a, in a weekly chart. It goes from a low of 1.06364. Um, that's It gets smoothed out, so maybe the price is slightly different. But it goes to the low of the 27th, the week of the 27th of March 2020, all the way to 1.23s, and now all of a sudden, look where it is. It's coming back down in this beautiful symmetry of the left side arch pattern, and it's coming down, and it says, by the uh, week of the uh, the first or second week of April, there's a chance we might test 1.06364 again. Yeah, and that, that's the kind of pattern we're looking at. Bank of America actually has the same sort of, oops, I missed out there. That was a mistake. Let me get back to the euro, and then we'll have a break, and we hopefully will come back. Steve Rose, I'm looking really forward to that. Dow's up 38, S&P's down 26. That's a big divergence. Uh, one of the Dow stuff is already putting on the heat, I guess, Triple M is, and Walmart. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman sitting in for the one and only Tom O'Brien. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm Ron Basil Chapman, Tiger Finance. This is the uh, Tiger Financial News Network, and we're on. I believe I didn't see the sign here. Is Steve Rhodes there? I'm hearing silence. I um, must just double check with our uh, with our host chat. We've got we can't. Oh, you can't get Steve. Oh, technical difficulties. Ah, oh, what a pity. I wanted to speak to Steve because Steve is always talking about the TD9 count. That's Tom DeMarc. And years ago, you, I'm talking about 19, the 1990s. Um, my part at the time, and I had a client who used to use TD9s all the time, and he was trading silver and silver. And I would put my chart up with jet wave notation, and I found that there were so many times that the TD count failed that I just started to lose interest in it. But over the years, um, I became a little more impressed with it, and uh, Steve Rhodes has been using that uh, for a we can't get Steve. No, Steve did. Oh, that's a pity. Uh, Steve has been using and speaking about it a lot. He uses it a great deal, and he uses it really well, beautifully. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to uh, chat with him about it. But anyway, all right, let's go on. Um, if there's any chance that Steve can, uh, the technical difficulties are resolved, I'd love to get to Steve. So let's just go back here. But I want you to show you the certain patterns. I had a question a moment ago um, mentioned about J.P. Morgan. So in the Chapman Wave, remember in the Chapman Wave methodology, what we were talking about is that fourth highest peak, peak D, I label it. That's where other things can happen. It can recycle to the upside. That's where you can have your greatest down moves. But look at this, JP Morgan. The daily chart of JP Morgan, JPM is the symbol, makes a peak D all-time high on the 25th of October. That's October. And that's what, six months ago or something? 172.96. It turns out that was also a peak D, the second peak D on the way up in the weekly chart. And it turns out that it was a peak D, that's a triple D, and in the, in the monthly chart. And now, well, we have to wait for the month to conclude. But as it stands at this particular point, you've got JP Morgan in a sell mode in the daily. You've got JP Morgan in a sell mode in the, in the weekly after going into a rectangle sideways pattern, break, breaking down. 
and there's a really good chance that there might be a sell mode in JP Morgan monthly, but I have to wait. If you're looking at a monthly chart, you have to look at the full month. You can't, in the middle of a bar, say, oh, I, it's definitely going to, I've seen, I don't know how many times, many of you have used candlestick charting, you know that until the very last moment of that particular time frame, whether it's a one-minute chart or a one-month chart, you have to wait for the end of that candle and start the next candle before you can be assured that the candle is concluded and you can make an assessment. So I use only a couple of uh, techniques in the uh, Chapman Wave methodology that have to do with candlestick charting. I love the little ones, the ones that look like a plus sign. Look here, at 169.81, that um, 13th of January high, you had two doji candles. I call that a silent doji, and then a little tiny doji candle at that high. And then it gapped and plummeted down. It's never filled that gap. And then you ran to a peak D, yet another peak D, with what I call the Chapman Wave silent doji. That's the candle of the 9th of February at 157.43. Following day, it makes another doji candle at 159.03. And uh, oh, you're not reading your messages. Uh, I thought I had read my messages. Yeah, okay. So he's done. I'm sorry. So, um, uh, and then we went to a trough team. We're trying to rally here. Now, we need to talk about a couple of things. So, another question came in. Let me just deal with that. And then I'm going to go to what I'm looking at market wise because this is. Oh, wow, when you look at the yields, the way they're breaking out to the upside, that is serious. So Myrna, the question was, what's happening with Myrna? All I can say is that a Moderna, at this particular point, trading at 147.68 uh, mRNA, trading up 937, had a big spike to 166.75. Normally, I look at these, especially if it's in the biotech area, if a, a rally doesn't fail, but it has a huge move, sometimes something like three to five times the, the size of the candle the previous day, and then starts to give it back, it's just news. And all I can say is that Myrna is in a sell mode in the daily, a sell mode in the weekly at that peak D top, and at that peak F top at 497.49, the biotech, COVID, other areas, nope, that's done. It's on, in a sell mode with the Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down. Look, it looks like an uppercase A, a capital A, coming straight down. It might form some kind of support between uh, the 120, 120, 128 and 142 area. If it takes that 128, it's probably not just going to test the 122 low. It's going to go lower than that. I, I'd just be really careful because it's had its day in the sun, um, and now it's in the shade. What can I say? All right, a couple of things we need to look at yet. Uh, let's see. Okay, so for for a couple of days now, I've been talking about a pattern. It's actually about a week, a week ago. In fact, uh, tomorrow would be a week ago that I was speaking to Tom. We're looking at this candle in wheat. And as I said, I have only a few candles and a couple I've made up, a couple of techniques I've made up. They're my, my own personal te uh, techniques. Um, and I've always called this one a Chapman Wave Roman candle. What is that? The price goes to a high. It's usually at a high, uh, even if it's an intermediate term high, but it's a high of significance. And then the price has this big gap to the upside usually makes a fractional wick, just a tiny wick, because if you're talking about Roman candles, you're talking about fireworks, right? And there's a tiny little wick, and then it drops very sharply, and then it rallies back to a half or two-thirds above the, the, the low of the day, of the bar, that is. And then it closes. Well, the rule of thumb is, I, I type this in, Chapman with Roman candle, leg E to the upside at 1363 and a half. This is a continuous contract. Maybe the price has changed. 1363 and a half, nope. And what happens is if within two sessions, it's usually the next, but I say two sessions, if there is a shorter time frame, intra-bar intra close that holds for a little while underneath halfway into this long wick, in this case 1240, be careful because within that same bar or the next bar, not only could you test the low, you could take that low out. And lo and behold, we had the big red candle on the ninth with a low of, uh, 12.01 and a half. Next day, it gaps down and it fills all these gaps. You see these little circles? Yeah, I circled it because you couldn't see it. But there was a um, a gap up and a limit up move to the 12.09 level 
high low clothes everything was 1209 and then the following day it went to 12 uh, i think it was 1294 uh what was that well, let me just double check 1294 and then the following day it gaps up again almost limit up and then it plunges but it closed there so now what we're looking at that black 14 period there's the daily chart black 14 period moving average and this has got a habit of doing it look wheat once before hit the 200 period moving average fantastic look at that like a springboard it bounces sharply high and then gives it almost all up in this a uppercase a or eiffel tower pattern so we've just had that uh in the uh, daily chart now it's really important because if it takes that 1024 in the next two days it says you know what just for now at least wheat is done and now it has to rebuild strength and it's going to go high I'll be back. Basil Chapman. I'm the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, usually at 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock every weekday. And I'm also the author of The Opening Call. I'll be back in a moment, sitting here for Tom O'Brien. We'll be right back. The Dow's at 39. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an Apex Predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman. We are back. I'm the guest host today. Tom O'Brien's out. And we had a question here in the Tiger YouTube about EGY. EGY is vol. Co, it should be Volco Energy. Now, I'm I, I, a moment I saw it, I thought, Volco, is this a South African company? Because the Vol River is a big, a big river in, in uh, South Africa, and there's a lot of mining around. There used to be a lot of mining around there. But anyway, it's from 
Houston, Texas, uh, independent energy company principally engaged in the acquisition, development, and production of crude oil. Um, so we're looking at a leg E in the weekly chart having gone from sing below single digits. In fact, it was about 70 cents or something like that. What was that? It was, yep, exactly 70 cents low. Unbelievable. 0. 0.70. Eey, hi. Uh, that was in 2020. It ran up to um, seven dollars and about 41 cents in the daily. So the weekly is in a. In a uh, this is peak A, B, C, D. There again. Look how many there are. Amazing. A, B. This is how simple the technique is when it's simple. So here we go. D and pulls back sharply. Starts again in the weekly chart back in uh, mid 2021. Starts another peak A, B, C, D, and it goes to an E. And this week so far, it looks like there could be a peak E if there's no new high. Daily chart. So what the question was, could I look at it? Well, I'm looking at it, but you're, you want some answers. I also want some answers. So I'm looking at this, and it's had a really steep pullback. When you think even just today, it's down 14%. That's just in one day, but it had a move. Uh, just the most recent move went from about the three level to the 741. 741 down to 652. So that's 90. You know, that's 90 cents. That's uh, that's about it's about uh, that's fine. It's about eight percent. Just like whoops, like that. No, it's more. It's 14 percent. So that's a big move down. No, it has to be more than that. So just today is 14 uh, 14 uh, percent. Yeah, it's about two, it's about 18 or more. So now what we're looking at is within the context of what uh, the all these patterns. Look, if I if I had to go through OIH, this is the oil service index. Look, peak D at 306.19 had a big sharp. There's the dreaded H. Remember, the, I love this is in real time. This is what I like to do. I like to show these things how they function. Uh, right there, there's that lowercase h. It took out the left side low. If it doesn't close above the left side low within two bars, it could go quite a bit deeper. So I think this whole oil sector, peak D, leg D in the monthly chart, leg F in the weekly, is due for some kind of risk. And the, the big fear that I would have is, is this basically telling us between wheat, look at this, we're going through all the commodities, wheat down sharply, even today is down 14 and a quarter, uh, down over one and a half percent. Um, soy, soybeans holding in that rectangle formation near the highs, but not going to the highs. Corn, same thing. So we're looking at all the commodities. Uh, uh, corn is down 17, but it's holding within the rectangle. So it's at a high level consolidation. So th the concern, if we're thinking, um, geopolitically we have to say is the is the market really the fact that the dow at this particular point i'll be right back to uh, your question about um egy but for me the question has to be is this telling us about some kind of political result? uh do we call it political maybe at this point we need to call it political we call call it a geo geo uh, just the in terms of nations, are we talking about Ukraine having put up an incredibly bright, brave effort, but when you're outnumbered to the extent they're outnumbered, 40 miles of equipment, even if a lot of it got stuck, even if it ran out of gas, it's 40. This is serious stuff. So is it saying at some point fairly soon there might be a resolution and then we're going to have to deal with the resolution? That's number one. Number two is very often markets take something very seriously but markets tend to also get bored with the, with a subject matter. So is the market saying, you know what, we've, now we, we're a little bit more worried at this particular point about the Fed. So all I'm going to say right now is that you know, I, I was asked uh, during, earlier in the day, we were looking at Valera. Valera Energy is a little a little different. It's held very well on manufacturers and markets of transportation fuels and uh, petrochemicals power. That's got this whole picture of double tops that we've seen for months now. We've seen so many stocks and indexes. Uh, we were looking at the semiconductor index. The 318 makes this double top and then pulls back. So here's Valera Energy at 89.92 down a dollar. 74 93.77 was the high on the 11th of February Friday the high was 93.62 uh, so many times we've gone within pennies or within 30 cents or 20 cents of a major number 
So we're going to be watching this very closely. So I'm at this particular point, if you've made, if you've done very well in your energy type stocks, I'd be a little bit more selective. I mean, look, we were looking, they were looking earlier on at uh, in, in my show today in the, in the Tiger Technicians Hour at high grade copper. High grade copper made that. Um, in the, the synchronicity of the left side high in the weekly chart at 4.8975. Now, that's probably changed because it's a continuous contract. Nothing about the pattern or anything changes except the price gets smoothed out. So it's for 4.9135, the week of the 14th of May. It pulls back sharply, makes a cup formation. And what does it do? It goes just underneath. It goes to 4.8390. Then it takes almost the same number of bars, and it has a high of what the most recent high is last week at 4.6155 yes it is a bit higher but look at the sequence and the symmetry and if you're looking at this monthly chart look at what we look, we're going to we're going to the left side high that was way back at a peak e in the monthly chart february of 2011 at what 5.1255 and what did we just hit I can't remember what I said anymore. I think it just went over 5. 5.0395. I mean, we're talking about, when I said 2011. This is 11 years, and it's already been down to the under 2.5, and it comes back again in this beautiful symmetry here. Uh, in fact, the symmetry is one bar late from where I counted the symmetry. But isn't that amazing? So... Copper's holding. All of these so far are holding quite well. But what's really important is the how the mechanics of getting wheat to market. Let's just say um, Ukraine, we don't know what the outcome is, but let's just imagine that within three weeks, for some reason or other, the farmers are back. Uh, and they 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 doing whatever they do with the corn. They're shipping it and they're doing everything. But it takes a little while. It really takes a little while to get everything back again. Not only that, they've lost so much in the way of um, just venues. I should imagine the ports are, there's a problem with the ports, etc. So that means that wheat, that means that gold as the fear factor, I always talk about gold as the icon, this, there's this, uh, um, it, it's really a measure of, geopolitical and even economic sometimes fear it's a very shiny fear gauge and uh it's pulled back quite sharply but not that sharply that you say it's all over so this could be in play we're going to be watching this because if this week we continue to see a quite a dramatic drop it's going to take a lot for all of these commodities soft and hard commodities to scream to the upside again i think what we have to look at on the shorter term is bonds U.S. bonds, James bonds. Look at this, 152 and a half. It's almost at the low of uh, the 16th of February, one, 152 and 132nd. And there's this Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down, uppercase A pat. Looking at all that. I'll be back. Dow's down 49. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. 
David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Hi, boys. I had a question about ExxonMobil. XOM is the symbol down 367 at 8123. There's that missing peak D. There it is. So the cup formation breaks out and goes to a peak D in the daily. Leg D. We have to wait for the entire week until Friday at 4 o'clock to call it a peak D with a high of 91.51. 91. Yep, a high of 91.51. And uh, a leg E in the monthly. Under other circumstances, I would have said that most of these oil and oil service sectors have made the kind of top that says you're going to have to wait quite a while before they can get back on track. But we're talking about something so completely different here. We're talking about scarcity. We're talking about, um, I, well, I don't want to get into it, but it's a geopolitical, such economic situation. And therefore, it is in play. When is the next big move? It could happen at any point. But I wanted to point out that um, Exxon, CVX, and another question about CVX, same thing, except this has been uh, Chevron Corporation, multinational oil company, has been really a spectacular move. A multinational, you know what, how, much it, how much money it takes to move uh, even a point? And here it is going just straight up from the uh, 139 44 uh, triple top high that was made going into mid-February and then it just screams to the upside from 130 it goes straight to 170 was that six 174.75 uh, on the 10th this is two days later and it's just barely pulled back and that's just saying to me don't write off oil at this particular point it's just way too soon uh, question, can I post SLB, slob, slumberger? Let's see if I've got that. Oh, I had this all notated. I don't know how many, I, maybe hundreds of times I've, I've notated it. And sometimes when my, if my machine or for whatever reason, it suddenly has to be shut down and I haven't been able to save, I, I lose some of the, the notations and it goes to a different file and I, I, I've never been able to pick it up. It's there. I just haven't been able to pick it up. This is a leg D in the monthly chart. Slumberger, 4138 down, $1.52. These big spikes to the upside that come back, they form like a head and shoulders pattern here. That doesn't mean to say it's negative because this base could be a base now uh, going down to the 30, let's call it the 36 and a half, maybe 36 area. And it's at 4138. So from that move there, I would have to count it as A, no, I have to actually go back. I have to go peak A, I'll do it live. That is a that is a bar. That's not an up, that's not a, an up uh, candle. So that's an A, that's a B, that's a C, that's a D. Yep, and there's an E, and he has your E. So we've just gone alphabetically in the weekly chart, we've gone A, 
Uh, no, that's A. Sorry, that's A over there. And it's not B, it's A. Because that is, that is the low, not that, that is the low. A, B, C, D, and there's your E. So we've got leg D in the week, monthly chart, leg E in the weekly chart, and a peak E. So this is be ready for some kind of a pullback. So those are the things that we like to do. Um, and the question is, if you were going to get, if you, let's just say you were in and you've taken money off and now it's, and it's shot up and you didn't know what to do. So just have patience. Rather, rather see where the support is and look at the overall complex. Look at many of them, not one at a time. Just look at a bunch of them. And if this starts to uh, go from 41 down to 39, I would say at 39, if it's holding steady, you could just nibble at it and slumberger because this whole area should hold, but you might have to have a two-point stop. So that's going to be the issue. Where do you put the stop? I would have a stop because if it takes out 36 and a half or 36, it's going to go quite a lot lower. At this point, it's holding very nice. It's got this tremendous support. I'd love to look at this rectangle formation with the aberrational move to the upside, like a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. I like to look at that as your trading support. This is your cushion. You don't want to break that cushion. Okay. A couple of other questions came in. Could I look at, where did I put it? I put it over here. Um, yeah, earlier in the day, in my show, I was asked about CF, which is Cliff. Uh, sorry, I keep saying Cliff. CLF is the Cliff. This is CF Industries. Uh, CF Industries is a high hydrogen, nitrogen products, clean energy, fertilizer, emissions abatement, leg F in the monthly chart, leg D in the weekly. And look how well this is holding, because this is different. This is not just oil service or anything. This is hydrogen, nitrogen products for clean energy. That's the magic word. We'd love in this bit of the environment to even think clean. It would be a wonderful thing if we can get what we want and think clean. Fertilizer emissions and uh, emissions abatement. So at this particular point, it goes to 100.15, the screaming leg E to the upside. It pulls back sharply to the 14 period moving average in the daily chart around about 85 and then it bounces and here it is at 95 10 points higher and holding well so as a chart pattern if in the next three days it doesn't break i'd call it 88 support it's at 95 88 seven points but just give it quite a lot of points if it can hold there this is in play so keep it in mind cf is holding really well and for those of you who are in it a lot of you said that you've had it you're holding it you've taken some money off I think that's very good. Question about uh, from Dan. The 335 calls for Friday. <sighs> you saw what happened this past Friday and how quickly we gave everything back. You saw what happened today. We're up 27 right now, but the Dow at one point to today, uh, you want to go to the diamonds. Let me just go to the, uh, let me just go to the Dow for the moment. INDU. The Dow actually hit 33,000 395 that is uh three we're at 32,969 that is over 300 points no 400 points down from where we were i i this is the one time that i would say i'm gonna have to wait another day i'd have to i probably look today is monday i would have to wait until wednesday with the fed because the Fed, you know, the bonds are doing what the Fed wants. The bonds actually are doing it. The, the, the bonds are raising rates because they're coming down so sharply. So maybe the Fed, just because of the environment that it's in, says, oh, absolutely, we are serious. We're going to, this is so, we'll do a quarter point now. But we're already, uh, even this afternoon, we could raise another quarter point. Well, we're ready for a half a point. We we'll do a quarter point. I mean, they might have to just do that. They might just have to kind of fill up the time and just yakety yak, uh, pull one of those green spans where at the end of the day you said, "Wait, he spoke for an hour and a half. But what did he say? Can I pinpoint anything?" Um, and now we're out of that that whole thing of the Fed just you know talking. Uh, I think Powell has been about as clear as he can be. So maybe he will be clear, but more, a little bit more dovish. And if they, you see that, it might not be Friday that it might be just immediately from Wednesday afternoon to Thursday, regardless of, of the geopolitical economic situation uh, in the Ukraine. 
And the market might just say, I am sick and tired of this down, down, down. We need to get moving. Let's have a rally. And that's really what you would look for. So, uh, Dan, I know the way you, you, uh, you, you like to play these uh, options. My thinking is this. On any pullback here, start looking at the options that you want. I'm talking about the price. And why not just tiptoe in, knowing that there's a chance you can lose it all because everything can go wrong. But just tiptoe, like two today and maybe three or something tomorrow, then Friday, Wednesday, you could put in much more, maybe even wait until uh, three, three thirty. But th we are ready for at least a pretty decent rally into something like a Friday. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So just we're about to wrap up, and I had a quick question about Alarian MLP. This is a limited partnership energy infrastructure. It made that peak D. Remember, in the, for those of you in Japan Wave methodology, you know how often lately I've, I've gone to peak G, and I've called it G slash C. If it starts, uh, that's the count, alternate count. And finally, you got your D, and it pulls back very sharply uh, from 39 70, uh, 38, 39. And now it's down to 3609. So that could be it for the shorter term. Yes, this looks good in the, on the monthly chart and it probably gives you a decent dividend, but be prepared. It could pull back quite sharply to the uh, 200 period moving average of 3418. So we're about to, we just got this very last section to go to. And what I'm, I'm going to say, just in terms of, uh, yeah, TFNN, you know, we're all about education. 
Well, just all the, all the shows that you hear, we, it's just decades and decades of, of experience that we try to put in. We're here to educate. So if you're interested in the Chapman methodology, my um, on my service, my opening call, my daily newsletter, I have webinars, just um, 10, 11, 12 webinars discussing all these different techniques that I've just discussed here. So if you're interested, uh, you know, you get 30 days free. Um, if, if you don't like it, you can return it, in other words. Um, so it's my daily newsletter. We do have one we bought today that is up very nicely, up about uh, um, 1.2%. 1, 1 we just got it today. Um, I'm not sure how long we're going to keep it for, but it's in an area I like very much. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, within that context, what I am looking at is over the coming days, it isn't just the, the um, Russian um, I always wonder, has has Ukraine shot any bombs or anything into Russia? I think it's just one sided. So it's really an attack on the Ukrainians. So we'll have to see how this pans out. And of course, it's also a big media thing. There have been a lot of wars that there wasn't this kind of coverage. So we want to try to step aside, look at the market, and let the market as best as possible tell us what is happening. And at this point, it says having cash is not a bad thing, but at any moment, this market is really looking for at least a good 3 to 4% bounce if nothing else. Have a wonderful day. Check out all the different newsletters on TFNN. Hope to see you tomorrow and have a great evening. Thank you for being Master Channel.